Hey everyone, Raw Dog Rory here, Rocking Geek Food on Day 16, and we're at Sonnenwald's Farm in Spring Glen, Pennsylvania, or Spring Grove, Pennsylvania, according to Amanda's face and according to the broccoli smell in here. <laughs> um, a lot of people keep asking me, how do you get produce at a really good price? And one of the tricks we've used often is we talk to our local organic farmers. Look, look them up, see who's in your area, and call the farm owner and the people running the place and ask if they have any opportunities for you to come out and volunteer at the farm. Usually uh, CSA members, community support agriculture members, and other individuals in the uh, neighborhood, if they contact their local organic farmer and say, hey, we want to help out weed your property, usually you can work out some kind of deal to either get produce or get discounts on produce. Or what we like even more is we get some awesome wild edibles at and some of the amazing weeds that grow on organic farms. And uh, for example, this lovely little lamb's quarters right here. And lamb's quarters is great in smoothies and um, has almost a spinach-like taste. You could put it in wraps and salads. It's really easy to identify. If you have trouble identifying the weeds, go on a weed walk. Usually you can find them in your area. Usually the farm owners will know people who you know, host weed walks and or they probably know a lot of the weeds that are good for use in, you know, uh, cooking, eating, whatnot. So, and another very cool thing about weeds is the reason they're so prolific and they go so nuts on farms and gardens is because they have the resources, they've been designed to really mine out minerals and go deep in the ground and search for all the goodies that are in there and store them in their leaves. So when you eat a weed, you're actually getting more nutrition than probably the spinach that was growing right next to it because this little guy is more adept at getting all those goodies and it makes a hell of a good smoothie. So, and this technique has worked out really good for us. We've managed to score tons and tons of uh, lamb's quarters, purslane, and um, dandelion, and it's all organic, it's locally grown, it's as fresh as you can get, and it's free. So I encourage all you to go out, contact your local organic farmers, and give this a shot. See us.